Okay, Mike, so there's a new test. What's that one, please? This is a cast of girl, cast of durability test. Total of 100,000 cycles, 2,000 cycles over obstacles that have been completed. Now 98,000 cycles over a smooth, hard surface. Each cycle consists of 30 inches, four and a half for a complete cycle of 60 inches, five feet. Okay. It's 270 pounds on the fixture. The fixture is weighted to resemble the seat weight that's been removed. To access only the canister and the base itself. What's the, what's the jig? How do you make sure that the load is fully applied to the base when you have that belt there? Is it holding it in place? No, it's strictly an encumbrance to, to keep it from wandering. There's zero, uh, we're not aiding, supporting, or directing the weight in any way, shape, or form, just maintaining its cycling position. Okay. How do you make sure that you have the, uh, the proper distance of travel? I have a measuring tape. It's a 36 inch cylinder. I have it to set about 90%, which gives me a 30 inch stroke, which is exactly what's called for. Okay. You can also see the pattern left by the wheels. That's, uh, that's a testament to the length of the stroke. Okay, and uh, how do you monitor the number of cycles and how do you make sure it's up to the right number of cycles? We have an electromechanical counter here. As you can see, it's done 51,886 cycles out of 98,000. Once it reaches 98,000, it shuts off automatically and waits for me to finish the, the mechanical aspects of the test. Okay, I thought you had said uh, 100,000. 98,000 over smooth hard, 2,000 over off. Okay, I want to come back to those weights. Uh, you have some steel weights and you have a pouch. Yes. Uh, how do you make sure that they, they, they apply the, the right weight? Well, they're, they're, they have a calibration number and I verify them as needed before the test. This test calls for 270 pounds. Four and 200, one at 44, one at 25, and two and a half pound wooden inserts for a grand total of 270 pounds exactly. Okay. 